An agile AI so advanced that it can build a complete Twitter clone in 30 seconds, generate artwork that rivals human designers, and solve coding problems that stump senior developers. But the company that created it doesn't want you to know it exists yet. Well, stop imagining, because thousands of people are secretly using Gemini 3.1 Pro right now, and their reactions are absolutely insane. We're talking about developers saying, this feels like magic, designers calling it a generational leap, and programmers claiming it's 50% better than anything else that exists. But here's the crazy part. Google hasn't officially announced this AI yet. So, how are people accessing it? Why are early users losing their minds over the results? And, most importantly, what does this mean for the future of AI? Today, I'm going to expose everything about the secret AI that's breaking the internet. Three weeks ago, something strange started happening in Google's AI studio. Developers who thought they were using regular Gemini 2.5 Pro began noticing something weird. Instead of getting one response, they were occasionally seeing two response cards side by side. At first, people thought it was just a bug, but then someone decided to investigate deeper. They opened their browser's developer tools, checked the network logs, and discovered something that made their jaw drop. Checkpoint IDs that had never been seen before. Internal codes starting with 2HT, DA9, and D17. Completely different from anything in the official Gemini lineup. Word spread like wildfire through AI communities. Here's the secret method that's been spreading through AI communities. You don't need any special permissions or insider connections. The trick is surprisingly simple, though it requires patience. Go to Google's AI Studio, select what appears to be regular Gemini 2.5 Pro, and then submit the exact same prompt over and over again, anywhere from 10 to 50 times in a row. It sounds ridiculous, but this repetitive action occasionally triggers Google's internal A-B testing system. When it works, you'll see two response cards instead of one, and if you check your browser's developer tools, you'll find those mysterious checkpoint codes that confirm you've stumbled into something extraordinary. It's like finding a hidden door in a building you thought you knew perfectly. The success rate varies wildly. Some people get access on their 10th try, others need to submit 40 or 50 times, and some never trigger it at all. But for those who do, the experience is unlike anything they've seen before. Let's start with the coding abilities, because that's where this AI is absolutely destroying everything else on the market. Users report that Gemini 3 can generate complete, functional applications from a single prompt. I'm not talking about simple scripts, we're talking about full Twitter clones, e-commerce platforms, interactive games, and complex web applications that would normally take developers days or weeks to build. One user asked for a Twitter clone, and Gemini 3 got something so accurate it looked exactly like the real Twitter interface with working buttons, proper styling, and responsive design. Another person requested a museum website for ancient art, and Gemini 3 delivered a gorgeous, fully functional site with animations, perfect layouts, and mobile optimization. But here's where it gets truly incredible. SVG generation. For those who don't know, SVG graphics required precise mathematical understanding of shapes, curves, and spatial relationships. Most AI models fail miserably at this task. Users have been testing Gemini 3 with the notorious Pelican Riding a Bicycle SVG generation task that typically breaks AI models. Not only did Gemini 3 pass this test, but it created graphics so detailed and mathematically perfect that users are calling it the best front-end model ever created. The most jaw-dropping example? Someone asked for an SVG of a PlayStation 4 controller and Gemini 3 generated something so close to the real product that it was almost indistinguishable from an actual photograph. Compare that to other AI models, which usually produce abstract shapes that barely resemble gaming controllers. What makes this AI so dramatically different? Based on user reports and technical analysis, we're looking at several breakthrough innovations working together. First, there's what appears to be enhanced reasoning architecture. Instead of just generating responses, Gemini 3 actually thinks through problems step by step, explores multiple approaches, and revises its thinking in real time. Users describe being able to almost watch the AI work through complex problems, considering different angles before settling on the best solution. 
The multimodal capabilities are also off the charts. The AI can process text, images, video, and audio simultaneously at unprecedented speeds. One user tested its ability to count fingers in an image, a task that typically tricks AI models because they default to assuming five fingers. Gemini 3 correctly identified six fingers instead of giving the usual wrong answer. But perhaps most impressive is the advanced code understanding. This isn't just about generating code. Gemini 3 actually understands programming concepts at a fundamental level. It can debug complex issues, optimize performance, explain its reasoning in natural language, and even refactor existing code to make it more efficient. Let me share some specific examples that demonstrate just how powerful this AI really is. The black hole visualization. A user simply asked Gemini 3 to create a visualization of a black hole, and the AI generated a complete, scientifically accurate representation that could run directly in a web browser. No external libraries, no complex setup, just elegant code that worked perfectly. The interactive piano composer. Perhaps most mind-blowing, Gemini 3 can compose original piano pieces from scratch. Not simple melodies, but complex, harmonically rich compositions that demonstrate genuine musical understanding and creativity. The Minecraft Demo when asked to create a Minecraft-style game, Gemini 3 generated a playable demo with proper block placement mechanics, realistic lighting effects, and smooth performance, something other users called the best I've seen for that type of prompt. While we don't have official benchmarks yet, early testers have been running their own comparisons, and the results are staggering. Users consistently report approximately 50% better performance than Claude 4.5 Sonnet in coding tasks. We're talking about cleaner code, fewer bugs, better optimization, and significantly faster generation times. In creative tasks like SVG generation in front-end development, users describe Gemini 3 as being significantly better than any competing model currently available. Available. The accuracy, creativity, and attention to detail are reportedly in a completely different league. For mathematical reasoning and problem solving, early tests suggest performance improvements of around 25% over current leading models. But perhaps most telling, users consistently describe the overall experience as a 5x improvement over Gemini 2.5 Pro in day-to-day -day usage. So, why hasn't Google officially announced what appears to be their most powerful AI ever? Based on industry analysis and insider reports, there are several strategic reasons. First, quality assurance and safety testing. Google learned from previous AI controversies and is probably running extensive reliability tests before public release. They can't afford another PR disaster in the competitive AI space. Second, competitive timing. With GPT-5, Claude 4.5, and other advanced models in the market, Google is likely timing their announcement strategically to maximize impact and market response. Third, infrastructure preparation. Supporting millions of users requires massive computational resources. Google might still be scaling their server infrastructure to handle full public deployment without performance degradation. Based on recent leaks and industry analysis, Google appears to be preparing for a major announcement very soon. Internal documents suggest that October 22nd could be the official reveal date, although this might change depending on final testing and competitive factors. The timing makes perfect sense. Google has been steadily building toward a massive AI reveal. With competitors like OpenAI and Anthropic moving quickly, it's only natural that Google wants to showcase its next-generation model to maintain its leadership in the space. My prediction? We'll likely see either a limited beta launch or a full consumer release within the next few weeks. The overwhelmingly positive feedback from early A-B tests suggests the model is almost ready for prime time. And honestly, Google can't keep this under wraps for much longer. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates on Gemini 3 and the future of AI.